What's up Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Beehives Pro. Beehives Pro adds a leveled MMO-like bee farms to your Minecraft server. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, search for Beehives Pro, install the version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. After installing Beehives Pro, you'll have access to a new crafting recipe and some commands. Let's start with the crafting recipe. This plugin adds a leveling token that's crafted with a diamond block surrounded by honey blocks. I'll make a few here. Right-clicking a beehive with this item levels it up. After placing a beehive, we can right-click it at once and it'll spawn some bees, as well as adding a name tag above it with some info on the hive. We can right-click it more times to level it up further. After reaching level 4, we see in chat that we can use a golden hoe to collect honey blocks directly from the hive instead of just honeycomb. Now for some commands. The plugin has just a few that mainly revolve around the custom item and leveled beehives. Slash BP help shows the list of all the commands for later reference. Slash BP discord links to the developer's discord. Slash BP give followed by a player's name, name for the beehive, level, names of bees, and then an amount gives a player a custom leveled beehive. That's a bit confusing, so we'll use an example. Slash BP give Techno Test Hive, which is the hive's name, 10, which is the level, and now we can enter some names that are comma separated. I'll just use Kevin, Kevin2, and Kevin3, and then finally we'll add how many of these beehives we want to give. I'll give two. There are no spaces allowed, so keep the name of the hive and the list of bee names without spaces. After running the command, we're given two custom hives. Hovering over it in our inventory gives us some info on the actual item. We can also use color codes in this command, so including an AND sign followed by a number will let us change the color of text that follows. Slash BP give player followed by a beehive preset name and an amount lets us spawn pre-made beehives that we can define in the config. One of the default presets is sky. Slash BP add tokens player name amount lets us give a player beehive leveling tokens. Slash BP add tokens, techno 15 gives us 15 leveling tokens. Locate the config in the plugin folder. There is only one file, config.yml. This file contains all the settings for the plugin, including the custom crafting recipe, presets, and some localization. The first few lines are localization, where you can customize how the plugin communicates with players in chat. We can pick a max level for beehives around line 26, Choose whether they harvest honey blocks on line 36, and even change the tool required to harvest honey blocks directly from the beehive around line 43. Line 62 has settings for the crafting recipe, and below we can even customize what items are needed in what order to create one of the leveling up tokens. From line 109, we have a list of all beehive presets. These are the spawnable presets we tested earlier when we spawned a sky beehive. These can be added or removed to your liking. Each one can come pre-leveled, as well as have a custom hive name and worker names. This plugin is super simple and can add a lot to an RPG or MMO type server. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!